With the new movie Creed hitting theaters on November 25th, MGM and Warner Brothers have just released a new TV spot and official poster for the film. Adonis Johnson, played by Michael B. Jordan, never knew his famous father, world heavyweight champion Apollo Creed, who died before he was born. Still, there's no denying that boxing is in his blood, so Adonis heads to Philadelphia, the site of Apollo Creed's legendary match with a tough upstart named Rocky Balboa. Once in the city of brotherly love, Adonis tracks Rocky, played by Sylvester Stallone down and asked him to be his trainer. Despite his insistence that he is out of the fight game for good, Rocky sees in Adonis the strength and determination he had known in Apollo, the fierce rival who became his closest friend. Agreeing to take him on, Rocky trains the young fighter even as the former champ is battling an opponent more deadly than any he faced in the ring. Christian, what do you think of the poster and new TV spot for Creed? Star Wars right here. <laughs> uh, Revenant and Creed right here. Those are my it, really? now, now my those this movie is more and more becoming more anticipated in these spot this TV spot and this poster the poster is exactly what Ashley just described you see this is this is the better version of Rocky 5 as where you're not going to have <laughs> Tommy Gunn and, and and Duke not not the good Duke the build uh, whatever the uh, George Washington George Duke. Washington Duke is not going to be present this time and this trailer what I thought very similar to what we were just talking about here with the with Alien is that this trailer this TV spot is for those who are not aware of this movie the mm. first thing you see is Rocky so you go oh another Rocky movie and they go well wait a minute and you start to pay attention and it's very clear that this is a Creed movie. It's very clear that this is Rocky training Creed's son. I thought this this TV trailer was great. Sometimes they just slop together scenes and put together, and it's just like... There's it, sometimes poor versions of full theatrical Absolutely. Yeah. This was a very well thought out trailer to let me know exactly what it was and to inform people who don't know that there's a new Rocky spinoff movie coming out. And um, I think the other thing that they did... Uh, the last trailer I was worried gave away too much, but I think that the and, and again with Ashley reading that synopsis about how Rocky is fighting this new fight, the cancer, whatever he may be fighting here, it is a plot point in the movie you're supposed to know. It's not a shocker like, oh no, Rocky's sick. It's not you're, a twist. No, you're supposed to know he's sick. Well, because in five he has the brain damage. Yeah, and they, they, kind, they kind of, of they, they kind of retcon yeah. they kind of retcon <laughs> that in yeah. six. Um, yeah. But but it is but it is absolutely all these boxers and and football players they go through this trauma down the line and it's going to happen to Rocky. But it's a nice counterbalance to where Rocky has to fight that. Adonis is facing a lot of different the legacy, you know, his career, this new opponent. I love what they're doing with this, and the poster's amazing. You know, it's funny you mentioned the the Rocky Five and Rocky Six. There was that scene in Rocky Six, and by the way, Rocky, if you haven't seen Rocky Six, which I think they just titled Balboa, Rocky Balboa, Balboa. Rocky, Balboa. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rocky, that Rocky Six is a great film. Yeah. It's it's really a wonderful, wonderful film. But there is that scene. When he's sitting in front, I believe it's the Athletic Commission, when Rocky's sitting in front of the Athletic Commission trying to get a license right. to have this fight with the World Heavyweight Champ, and they're saying, your age, there's arthritis, you've been out of this game for so long. And I kept waiting for someone to say, oh, and this little thing here, life-threatening brain damage <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that you got fighting some Russian, apparently. And <laughs> they just totally glossed over that. Look, I, I'll be honest with you. I thought you, and I, I don't know what you're going to say yet, Yeah. I thought everybody was going to hate on that poster. I love that poster. Love that poster. There's a beauty in the simplicity of it. You know, I often say this about posters. I love it when a poster can capture in one frame and in one moment the spirit of what the movie is. And I look at that poster, empty, kind of uh, like a gymnasium that he's in. They're clearly in a ring, and it's just rocky. And I think what makes it perfect, his hands is on Apollo's shoulder. And Adonis. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Adonis, right. Apollo's son's shoulder. Adonis. Adonis. Shoulder. And it's it's just perfect. It breathes everything about what this movie, and you're right. The TV spot, TV spots are usually just garbage. It's yeah. just like, oh, look, this flashing scene, this flashing scene, this flashing scene, title. But this was a well put together thing. And like, and Jake Gyllenhaal got nothing on Michael B. Jordan as far as what kind of shape he got himself into because he's a freaking beast in there. Yeah. I. I poo pooed the idea of Creed when I first heard it, like about a year ago. I poo pooed it, and I, while I don't have a right up at Revenant level yet, it is certainly very high on my anticipation level yet. I think this is great. I mean, you know, if anybody asked me what movies I could sit down and watch all the way through, including five all the way to Rocky Balboa, Rocky's at the top of my list. And this movie, I was excited from from the beginning. 
seen him with the hat on from one. Yeah. You know, with the you see a scene in the in the trailer when he's bouncing the ball, and he's and you know the iconic shot from the end of of three when Apollo and him did, and then the painting that those classic Rocky paintings. I would love to see a painting of this poster with, by that guy. I mean. The, this poster nails that movie, and what I hope that movie's going to be is simple, awesome, and just back to the core of what Rocky was, which was boxing and overcoming what seems to be in uh, you know an obstacle that Adonis was is what like they tell us that he's not a fighter, but he wants to be his dad, and that's why he goes to Rocky because he's lived this awful childhood. I don't know how they're going. to Well, he is a fighter that. though. He is a fighter that had just been fighting off the scene with a different name. He's been like he hasn't been fighting on the main circuit. He's been fighting kind of off the grid, okay. but he hasn't embraced the Creed name. And yeah. I think that the, that's the point of the movie is that he's got to embrace the name, embrace the crew, embrace who he is. So it is. You're right. It is a Rocky. It's it's the Rocky story. I think there's going to be a lot of parallels from Rocky one and Creed. Even the name. Just putting Creed up right. there. Well, it's a circle of life sort of thing to quote a Lion King thing here because what this one does, and I think Rocky. Rocky IV might have been trying to do and failed at miserably, is there is a circle of life feeling here. Rocky is now Mickey. I mean, he's he's now come full circle, and he's at that point and stage in his life. Now, this movie will lose me in an instant, and I am not... I am not convinced 100% that this isn't going to happen. Clubber Lang gets Here in the ring. The well, not at Clubber Lang, but like, like the, somebody throws a sucker punch at Adonis in the ring, and Rocky goes, hey, yo, and he jumps in the ring yeah, and decides yeah. to take care yeah. of business yeah. or something. I don't think that's at happen. that point, they'll kind of lose me. 